What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw for TV. Um, I'm rather late reporting uh, this passing. Um, matter of fact, she actually passed away the same day as her Slaughter co-star Jim Brown, a football star who later went into films. Uh, actress Marlene Clark, probably best known to a lot of us for playing Lamont Sanford's fiance Janet and the later seasons of Sanford and Son. And she also starred in the 1973 horror film Adonja and Hess has passed away uh, at the age of 85. Although there were some sources that said she was 73. She was actually born in 1937. And uh, I, I do notice that a lot of actresses, especially black actresses, uh, at that time in the 60s and 70s seemed to lie about their ages. Uh, maybe it was because of the fact that a, you know, misogyny was running rampant in Hollywood. And, you know, these producers wanted younger actresses, not middle-aged actresses. Plus, there's also the specter of racism. So I noticed, like, with Jeanette Dubois, a lot of times sources say she was born in 1945. In reality, she was born in 1932, which meant that instead of being 29 years old when Good Times started, she was actually already in her 40s, which looked about right because she looked like a woman in her late 30s, early 40s when that show started. But anyway, getting back to the point. As I said before, she uh, passed away at her home in Los Angeles, and uh, she passed away the same day as her Slaughter co-star and NFL legend Jim Brown. Her, her cause of uh, death was not immediately known at this time. Uh, Damon Wilson, who played Lamont Sanford, said uh, on Twitter, Rest in peace, beautiful actress Marlene Clark. It was a delight to work with you. Um, before she got into acting, she was a model. Her first major movie was 1968's For the Love of Ivy, alongside Sidney Poitier. She went on to appear in 1969's Putney Swope, directed by Robert Downey Sr., the father of Robert Downey Jr. Uh, she also uh, starred in The Landlord in 1970, the aforementioned Slaughter, and Night of the Cobra Woman in 1973. Other notable movies for her included Enter the Dragon in 1973, The Beast Must Die in 1974, and Switchblade Sisters in 1975. She was also briefly married to actor Billy D. Williams from 1963 to 1971. She was 85 years old. 